Well, I have to start with before equity trust. So my father had a, a very humble, challenging early life. He was raised by his uh, grandparents right outside of a steel mill, a town called Lorraine, Ohio. And up until age of 16, he didn't even have his own bedroom. He slept in the hallway and they rented out their rooms to steel workers who would come in and sleep in between shifts. So from an early age, my father um, really started with the traditional kind of uh, American story, rags to riches. I graduated from high school and I went to the United States Navy and I spent four years there. And then I transferred to Ohio State and I majored in finance and graduated in three years. And then I became a stockbroker. And one of my clients said, why don't you start your own business? So that's the beginning of Mid-Ohio Securities in 1974. And in 1983, uh, my father saw uh, the opportunity to uh, diversify his client's uh, investment portfolio into real estate. Uh, my father put together a limited partnership with his clients and himself to invest in the land and build the building and signed a long-term lease with Drug Mart. One of his clients asked, could I take my retirement funds and invest in that, my IRA? And my father kind of didn't know. He said, "I let me check into that. Well, to his surprise, not only could you do it, but people had been doing it in a very small way that no one had really heard about. So he really stumbled upon that concept. It's like somebody hitting you on the head and said, hey, you've got a great idea, you better run with it, you know? And we did. And from that single transaction, he really created an industry that 50 years later, we lead and, um, and are involved in today. Yes, it was always a plan for me to have a company with my family working together building together and sharing together. Far back as I can remember, the you know, discussion around the dinner table was always focused on work. In, in my family, we talked about two things with my father, sports and we talked business. So my dad was a true entrepreneur. When my brother and I both uh, graduated from college, we came back. But when they came in with their skills and training and building, they definitely were a major part of the growth of the firm. You know, we were in a small building that used to be a, a funeral home when we started out. And we thought that was the, the biggest thing in the world that we owned our own building at that point. And a very small organization with just a handful of folks. And then we got to work together, the three of us, in, in, in building the organization. So early on, um, I always uh, dreamt of something bigger and knew that we could become something amazing and great and large. I didn't necessarily know how we were going to do it. And so along the way, it's been an amazing journey. It was the idea to create a great organization that was fun to work with and uh, had a family atmosphere and that we were really on this adventure, that we were gonna provide this great service to people across the country. We we're gonna educate them. We we're gonna do well in their accounts and, and we would just grow. That's what differentiated ourselves early on. It was getting out there, meeting the customers, getting them to understand who we are. And I think again, it being a family business with my father and having his sons there too, it really made a difference because people like to do business with people they know and they trust. And, um, you know, being there and seeing the family, you, you can't get much more real than that. My father would travel across the country and would meet our clients. And my brother and I have done that as well. When you get to talk to our clients and you see, you know, how they're taking their funds and investing in things that they know and understand and they're getting great returns and they're providing for their family and the future of their families and impacting the communities, we knew and he knew at that time that that's really what our focus should be. You know, with my father, certainly you find somebody that cares about people tremendously, uh, always does the right thing, but also will push you and push you to try something new and to take a little risk. And it certainly has paid off. We would not be where we are today, nor the company that we are today without him. Dick is uh, a self-made guy. He's a very straightforward, 
person. He tells you what he thinks, wears his feelings on his sleeve. He's very passionate about business and particularly our business. And I remember thinking, boy, I'm gonna like this guy. I, I love people who feel strongly about things and, and Dick does and I love people who aren't afraid to articulate how they feel and Dick does. I think my father's uh, legacy will be uh, one of inspiration of people who, who've come from very difficult or humble beginnings. Uh, if he can come up and, and have the American dream, which is definitely alive and true today, uh, working hard and, and providing for others and helping others, you can be a success. I think he would be an inspiration for many people uh, and the American dream. That is very important to me to, to give back to the community that I was uh, raised in. My experience has been that the area I grew up in was poor and that people needed education and training. And when I got the ability and got in a position to be able to do that, I said it was important for me to transfer some of the knowledge and money that I have to make that happen to young kids today. You know, having to have the leap of faith to start your own business, having to, to have the courage to really go against his partners and to start in the IRA business, and then to be on the road almost every weekend talking to people, taking no for an answer over and over and over again until things started to pick up and started to turn. Number one factor that contributes to the success and longevity is the owner's passion and investment in this business. And I think one of the things that, that Equity Trust has done a good job at over the years is making good decisions to remain relevant in this tremendous marketplace that we exist in today. Well, the thing that remains the same is service to our customers and doing the work properly and efficiently. And remember, they're number one. And at the same time, uh, making sure that we create the family atmosphere that we had at the beginning. We want to keep that spirit alive. Equity Trust uh, has the most amazing group of folks throughout its history. We've had challenges, you know, setbacks, but we've worked together as a team. And really that to me is, is, is the key to everything, having a great team, uh, great culture, great community. Um, that's what makes uh, a company successful. I think at its core, we're allowing people to have that choice. Again, to invest in what they know, invest in what they understand, and invest in a lot of times in their communities. We're creating jobs, we're building businesses, we're revitalizing neighborhoods all across the country. All of our clients making those investments and doing great in their account, but also really impacting uh, their local communities. The evolution of this company has revolved around the unique assets that our clients want to invest in their accounts. And it continues to this day. It seems like we're constantly finding new ways to invest IRAs. It was important that we change the lives of many of our clients because we showed them how they could make money tax-free and accumulate wealth for their retirement and for the benefit of their family and children. And it's a great enjoyment to see them succeed in life. The Desiches have done this for 50 years. And the, the fact that they're so passionate about the business and about our customers being successful in the business, they're willing to reinvest in the business, which enables people like me to, to deploy the technology, to deploy the talent, uh, to improve our product and services, to improve the customer experience. All of that helps us to remain relevant. And, and to me, that is the single biggest thing you need high quality talent and high quality technology. You can't have one or the other. Many firms try to do one or the other, and you can't. Uh, in 2023, we did our uh, last acquisition, uh, which was Midland Trust, and that's brought us to about $44.9 billion in assets under custody, which is still amazing for me to even say that. So when you look at three generations, I think we bring a different mindset. We bring a different, different set of expectations. And so having a long-term view and having family ownership really gives us the ability to make decisions based on the long-term. You know, we're 50, and I'm saying we're 50 in, in an age where the average age of an S&P 500 company is 18, right? And so, so we're three times that. Like, that's remarkable. Um, and this company's healthier today than it's ever been. Right? We're more relevant today than we ever have. And so we're just gonna keep doing the things that we're doing to, to deliver for our clients, and I think that's the key to success for us.
I think the dedication to servicing our clients is number one. A knowledge of our industry and rules and regulations, number two. And number three is making sure that you put money back into the company and that gives you the stability of 50 years that we will be in business another 50 years. When our wildest dreams we could never have imagined that we would be where we are right now. In the next 50 years, that's going to be the same thing. We're going to talk about culture, we're going to talk about innovation, we're going to talk about a great group here within the organization, Equity Trust, to serve our clients so that they can be successful. And if we focus on those things, you know, great things are going to happen. We've certainly been around the longest, and as we continue to grow, we play a very important role within the industry. Being a financially strong organization, to continue to reinvest within our organization and really provide the best experience for our customers and our team members.